My video editor bought me a bunch of mystery video game consoles, and in this video, we're gonna test and explore each one of them and see if they're any good. Guys, welcome to an episode of Gamer Garbage. All right, guys, Goodwill package here. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Uh, whatever we've got in here is pretty small. <coughs> oh, God. Holy crap. What am I looking at here? This is ins <laughs> This is insane. I couldn't stop coughing because there was like paint fumes entrapped inside of the bubble wrap and I opened it up and it just like hit my nose. We got purple, <laughs> pink, and black painted on the side of the Wii. Uh, we also got glitter on the front, no SD card, and we also, oh, we got painted on the, on the back side as well. The top is not painted. We got some like little stripes there and <laughs> this, this is something else, man. Um, let's, uh, <laughs> wait, what is this? I didn't even notice this. We got a couple little yellow, uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know, man. Let's, let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, guys, console plugged in. And by the way, I just checked, Danny paid $25 for this with shipping, which is honestly like totally worth it. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and see if it turns on, but we got a red light here. We got power. Oh, there's no free game. Are you serious? This, dude, this is, out of any console on earth, I would have expected this to have a game inside, but all right. And Supra oh, dude, we got life and we got games. Dude, let's go. We have Super Mario World. This console, it's already worth it. Uh, already worth it. You got Super Mario World. You got Flu Flux Demo. What is this? I uh, also got all the standard streaming channels. No secret channels over here. Uh, I really wish there was an SD card with games on it too, but uh, let's go ahead and just start with the Me channel and see if there's something interesting. I, I, this thing's got personality, so there's, there's gotta be some personality in these Miis, but let's check it out. Okay, we got like 10 Miis maybe. Mom made by me, that, that's, that's such like a bro Benny, I guess. I'm guessing it's a girl who named themselves me, has a brother named Benny, has a mom. I don't see me though, like I, I was expecting me to be made by me. What am I saying? All right, let's go back to the main menu and uh, put a game in, see if it works. All right, this is the true test here. I, I'll be surprised if this thing reads games. It was already slow pulling it in. I think it's gonna do it. <laughs> it did it. No way. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe this, dude. This is <laughs> this is the coolest we have ever seen. It, it's bedazzled. It's got the paint. It works. It's got a free game on on it. Uh, no, honest. Oh, there's no save data here, dude. Ha it's it's so rare to find a Wii that doesn't have Mario Kart save data, just because everybody had Mario Kart. I mean, it's just it's just kind of like, like Wii Sports. Let's check out the last time this thing was played. There we go. June 2013. We got a message on the, on the board. Nice. And they played. Netflix for 12 hours, classic. So <laughs> this thing might have been bedazzled back in 2013. Honestly, it was probably like 07, which is amazing to think about. You know, it's probably like, let's just say it was a seven year old. Nah, it's probably like a four year old that probably bedazzled this. So they're like 20 years old now. That's crazy to think about. But let's go ahead and go back to the main menu. And I, I want to check out one more thing. I'll right, check out this console nickname. It is Fashion. Yes, <laughs> that is so fitting. <laughs> I, this is hands down best Wii console ever touched. I, I can't believe it still works, but guys, I'm gonna list this down below on my site for sale. So go check it out. And gamer garbage, like this is straight, this is straight tin garbage, but I love it. Like this is, this is awesome. So guys, we got this skinny package from eBay. Let's open it up, see what's inside. What on earth is this? Oh, wait, what is this? This is a PS4, hold on, what? Dude, what, what am I looking at? I have never seen this in my entire life. It's clearly a Japanese console and the, probably the coolest PS4 box I've ever seen. Let me go ahead and flip it over to the back and see what this is. Uh, that tells me nothing either. Oh, it's, <laughs> wait, 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 okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me open this up, hold on, wait, was... I just noticed this in the bottom, that's awesome. All right, let's see, how do I open this thing? Oh, what, what is this? <laughs> how did I not know this existed? Dude, like what, what is this supposed to be? I don't even know. Uh, we also have just this part falling out and now we're finally down to a, a PS4 box, just like a normal PS4 box. I, Okay, my mind is blown so far. Uh, let's go ahead and take, open up the box and see what's inside though. All right, so opening this thing up. Oh, oh, it's a blue PS4. I opened the wrong side. All right, now back to this side. What, what is that? We got this custom blue PS4 controller. That is awesome. Uh, we also got whatever this is. It's like a little piece, I guess. Maybe you stick on the, the console or controller. I don't know. I also have our, just our standard cords and stuff. Put those to the side. And indeed, we have a blue PS4. Let me go ahead and pull this out. Okay, so it's Dragon Quest. That's the game. I I knew I've seen this little this little blob character before, but I I don't know. I didn't know what game it was from. I've never played the game, but it's from Dragon Quest, and it's it's themed. I mean, how did I not know about this PS4? It's definitely like 100% the coolest PS. Well, no, there's some other cool PS4s. This, this is definitely up there though. But you got the cool design on top. You've got the little blob man on the front. I, I don't know what he's called. I've never played the game before, as I said. Looks like their warranty seal is still intact there, and 
Uh, <laughs> as you guys saw just a second ago, we got the controller here. And man, I'm really interested to see what this little gold blob does here. So let me try to see where this goes. All right, so it's got this little attachment here. So I guess it, it just slide into the USB port. It does, <laughs> dude, that's, that is wild. No way. Dude, the attention to detail there is awesome. That's, that's amazing. I, Let's plug it in, make sure it works. All right guys, got this bad boy plugged in and uh, actually before I turn it on, these thumbsticks on here, what is going on here? I can't tell if this is OEM or if this is, or if these things are just like mutilated, they're they're really rough. And this one's actually a little bit sticky. I've just never seen thumbsticks look like that on the DualShock 4, but whatever. Let's uh, turn it on, make sure it works. Any free games? <sighs> no free games. And I actually don't remember if the PS4 is region free, so I don't know if this will play North American games, we'll try. Uh, we'll start with Big Chungus here, my favorite Hello Games game of all time. Uh, but let's go ahead and just connect up here. And it is factory reset, not really surprising. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Circles, enter, and X is canceled. Ah, I always forget every time I play a, use a Japanese console and I start like screwing myself up. But here we are, already on the home screen. And you got some Japanese there. But let's go ahead and start with that. We'll actually do Gran Turismo, of course. Big Chungus is not real. Yeah, only if you believe. All right, I'll put this in pulls in just fine we're about to find out if this thing's region free i guess it is uh cool sweet so i can play north american games on my japanese ps4 and it's already done installing so let's boot it up and yeah sure enough it is loading up so we're good to go there now one other thing i want to check on this this ps4 i actually first of all i find it kind of kind of funny how everything's in english except for the notifications are in japanese I, okay uh, i want to check out what system software we're on here okay we're on 11.02 which is from like december 2023 so pretty recent and yeah i mean this is <laughs> This console, again, we got more English here instead of Japanese, but whatever, that works for me. Uh, this console's awesome. I, I've had no idea this existed. Honestly, the coolest part is this little thing just sticking in the USB port and spilling over the console. I just, just a cool little touch there, but console's fully working, uh, great condition. Actually, let me check the price real quick. Okay, I paid $244, which I guess, I don't know, sounds about right. Uh, it's not just a PS4, it's a cool PS4, so maybe that's market value, maybe it's not, I don't know, but garbage score, it's not garbage at all. This is a one out of 10 for sure. Uh, awesome console. So we have this massive box from Goodwill. Let's uh, open it up and see what's inside. Do you want a free game like Call of Duty Black Ops, Mario Kart, or Super Smash Bros? Well, if you do, hit that link down below, sign up for whatnot. You'll get any of my games under $15, 100% free, no tax, no shipping, 100% free. So go check it out. Got a bunch of other games as well. And I'll see you guys there. All right, first thing out is some games, Xbox One and Xbox 360, okay. And now we have two 360 controllers, a Brand new hard drive. Hold on, that's actually really interesting. And last but not least, an Xbox 360. Why, why was this box so big, dude? Oh my gosh. All right, let's take a closer look at everything. All right, guys, here we are. And can you, can you believe this was all that was in that massive box? Just just ridiculous. Um, but we got a uh, got some games here, which you already saw. We also have, let's just, get, let's just take everything out and take a closer look. All right, guys, so here's the 360, the main event. And it looks like we have a 60 gig hard drive. We have a faceplate on the front that's missing like almost everything, which is funny. Wait, what is? What's going on there? Hold on, let me take this faceplate off. But the sync button's completely broken off, which kind of like curves around and presses it. Okay, whatever. Uh, but it actually, oh, we got a random monster sticker on the top, nice. And it looks like it's got a Falcon motherboard looking at the power port there. Okay, cool, so the console doesn't look too bad. Now let me go ahead and take everything out of this little bag here and take a look at it. We got our power brick there. We also have this hard drive that I thought was brand new. It's definitely not new, it's just a, it's, it's in the GameStop little casing here. Uh, refurbished GameStop thing. That's that's pretty funny. We also have two controllers, a pink one, which is pretty beaten up. Looks like somebody was using the, their thumbstick with their, their fingernail. It's like, oh, beaten up. Also got a black controller, which whew, definitely got batteries in it. Hold on, let me check. Do we have corrosion and, oh, oh, we don't. Let's go. Nice. Maybe this console was used fairly recently. I don't know. I'm not, I guess this is untested, so hopefully it doesn't have red ring. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and plug it in and see what it does. All right, console plugged in. Let's go ahead and see if the remote turns on. Oh, 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 sorry, synced up too. Let's go, nice. Uh, console is turning on, it's booting up. Does the disk drive work? Any free games? Oh, no free games, but hey man, it opened up perfectly. And yes, here we go. We got some profiles. We got Caitlin and Kinsley. Looks like they, neither of them hardly played at all, but let's go ahead and explore a bit. Oh man, the, the left bumper is jacked up. Man, I, I've, I've, like, I think like 50% of the 360 controllers I test have bad bumpers. They're just, they just weren't good bumpers, man. Just didn't last, last very long. We got Kinsley here. Last time Kinsley played was never because it's all offline. Okay, great. Looks like Kaylin also never played online, so don't have, don't have any record there. But let's check out the My Games, nothing. All right, is there, is there anything on this console? I mean, we got save data from a few games. I think these are actually the same games that are in this bag. So it looks like they, they sold this console as the person the person just gave it to Goodwill and Goodwill said, all right, let's put list it online and sell it for whatever it sold for. Now, next up, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw on this hard drive, see if there's anything on it. 
because uh, I, I bet there is. Oh, so I pulled this hard drive out and this, is there even a drive inside this hard drive? It feels really light. Hold on, let me compare here. That feels sketchy. Well, anyways, I got it slapped on there now. Let's go ahead and try to boot up the console and see what happens. All right, so it's, it is booting up. Uh, I don't think it's gonna recognize any storage though. Yeah, straight up. So this, <laughs> I was right. This this hard drive has no hard drive. Man, what a scam. I can't believe that. That's, that's so lame. All right, let's go ahead and try to put a game in and make sure a game works. So yeah, sure enough, the game is loading up. Console sounds normal. It's actually blowing out hot air out the back. So it's like a well-performing console. Uh, this, this whole bundle is weird though, especially because of that hard drive. Let me go ahead and check and see how much Danny paid for this. Okay, so he paid 50 bucks. That's that's not like, I wouldn't call that a steal, but that's definitely, that's not bad. You got a few games here. You know, Black Ops is actually worth something. Incredible Hulk might be. Console's fully working. You got two controllers. You got a hard drive, one hard drive that works. Um, so gamer garbage, I, I don't know. I'm going like five out of 10 because it's, it's not a bad bundle, but having a hard drive with a missing hard drive is pretty lame, so. Yeah, five out of 10. So this box right here is from Goodwill. It's kind of a bit heavy for how small it is, but let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, oh, we got some PlayStation, let's go. All right, so first of all, we got some, some games here. All right, we probably have a PS2 in here. Uh, the games are pretty beat up and dusty. Like, we'll take a closer look here in a second, but definitely a PS2 somewhere in here, maybe. There's some controllers. We've got a, a really beaten up power brick with some, what is that on the bottom? And then, ooh, oh, we got a silver controller. Hey, that looks pretty good. It's a bit dusty, but not bad. Got some memory cards. I love to see memory cards. And we got a PS2 Slim down here, I would imagine. Uh, we'll take it out, open it up. All right, hold on, guys. We got a silver PS2 Slim here. Nice. I have never seen one of these in person, and it looks awesome. And honestly, it's it's pretty beat up, but it's it's not bad for being from Goodwill, being untested, of course. And, ooh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Logo looks great there on the silver. Let's we'll see if it opens it up. And, yeah, it opens up with a, a vengeance. Look at that. Back looks good, bottom looks good. Hey, got all four of her feet, amazing. Um, let's put that to the side here for a second. Let's take a look at these games again, see what, exa what exactly we got here. Oh, we also got Midnight Club 2, nice. So Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition was one of my favorite games of all time. Put so many hours into that game and ooh, 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 it's complete. And disc is not horrible, it's pretty scratched up, but kind of what you expect for a PS2 game. And of course you can see all the other games here. Uh, got a nice little collection. Now, <laughs> the funny part, is that all oh, these came from the exchange, which I believe is a store that Danny is familiar with back up in uh, the north parts of this north, north part of the states. But Bully sold for 30 bucks at some point. Pretty beat up. Actually got the manual inside. Let's take a look at this game as well. And ooh, that's yeah, that's really scratched up there. And last but not least, I just realized there's a uh, mystery game here. You can see the back of the disc, but there's no front. Let's go ahead and reveal Metal Gear, Gear Solid 2. Nice. And the game actually doesn't look too terrible. I'm not sure why it was upside down. That's funny. And of course, we got a few memory cards here as well. Let's plug the console in, see if it works, and let's explore these memory cards. All right, console plugged in. Got this sweet silver controller plugged in, and the controller is not bad at all. It's a bit dusty, but I think once I wipe it down, it'll actually be in really nice condition. Let's go ahead and see if this bad boy turns on. We, yes, we got a green light. That disk drive is rough. Uh, <laughs> looks like the laser's moving, though, so maybe it'll work. Uh, let's go ahead and put in, uh, let's just start with Bully. Wait, the, the clock battery is still good. Wow, that is, that's amazing that we still have a clock battery on this old of a PS2. But we'll put in Bully here. Also got our memory cards. We have one that's uh, OEM. We have another one that, I don't think this one's OEM. Yeah, it's played by Nyko. I actually had a couple of these back in the day. We have a PS1 memory card. Let's go ahead and uh, put them in and see what's on them. And actually, first of all, game is loading up. No way. <laughs> Honestly, after I heard that noise, I thought there was no chance this, this disk drive works, but it actually sounds fine now. And the game's playing. And I'll, I'll take it. And yeah, I mean, the game's been playing for a few minutes without an issue at all, and the console's super quiet now. Let's go back to the main menu, and I want to try a, uh, there it goes again. I want to try a blue game now, because sometimes silver games work and not blue games, and, and vice versa. So let's try it out and verify. And hey, man, sure enough, it is loading up. Again, surprise there. But let's go back to the main menu now, and let's actually explore these memory cards. But now, back on this home screen, the first thing I noticed is that actually the, uh, the controller is not working at all. Oh, oh, there it goes. Okay, okay. So I had to plug in, uh, basically plug in and unplug the controllers like four times each. And finally, the black one is, is working. There's probably just so much dirt and grime on them that they just needed some friction to rub it off. Uh, and now loading this up. Oh, I, I unplugged my memory cards. Let's put the memory cards back in. There we go. All right, both of them rooted up. Let's try this first one that says A plus T or AT&T. <laughs> is that AT&T? That's funny. And ooh, yeah, we got, we got save data here. Okay, so we got our system config. We got Budokai Ten Tenkachi 3. Was that actually, I think that was in our stack here. No, it wasn't. We just had Budokai Tenkachi. That's an expensive game though, I think. Need for Speed, it's Pro Street, NCAA. I don't even have a, what is that? NCAA Football 03. That's actually a game that I used to play back in, you know, 03, 04. 
Uh, this was played back in 09, so you know it's been 15 years since this console's been played. And of course, we actually got Bully on here, so I, I almost wonder if this specific console was used with this, these specific games because we have Bully in the stack here. Maybe not. It might just be a coincidence. But like, there's a there's a good bit of save save data here, and the the latest one or the the oldest one actually is the Fellowship of the Ring, uh, 2007. So man, it's just crazy seeing from save data from that long ago. And you got wait wait, The Incredibles. Oh yes. Yes, this is one of my favorite games of all time on the PS2. And actually, what is what is ROTU? Maybe I didn't play this game, but I played the original Incredibles game on the PS2. Man, that was a classic when I was when I was eight years old. But uh, let's go ahead and check out the other memory card now. Okay, so this one has a bunch of Sing Star scores. <laughs> Sing Star, Sing Star, Sing Star. Oh, uh, we also got Thug Two. What is Thug Two? Tony Hawk Underground. There we go. Okay, Guitar Hero, ACDC <laughs> Live. So this person was definitely a this is Call of Duty, GTA and uh, like rock band kind of stuff and, and singing. So that's kind of funny. Let's see when the last time this thing was played or the oldest time it was, it was 2007. So again, these might have been in the same family because they have a pretty similar uh, timeline, time frame here. Let's go ahead and put in the PS1 card. I actually don't remember if you can use PS1 cards on the PS2. I, I think you can. Uh, yeah, there it is. And it actually shows up as a PS1 card. That's, I mean, that's kind of neat. And this one looks like it was all just crash. Crash 6%, 2%, 2%, 2%. Mega Man X4. <laughs> so it looks like this person just saved the same save file like a million times. Uh, there's no save. It doesn't save, tell you the date because it's from a PS1, and I guess the PS1 didn't have the date, or maybe it's not compatible. I don't know, but I, honestly, dude, what a find. I don't know how... Let me, let me check how much you paid for it. Okay, so you paid 157 for everything, which is not, like, outrageous considering everything works, but uh, not definitely not a steal either. But hey, man, everything works. I have to test the games, of course, but if you want to buy this console, I'll list it down below on my website, so go check it out. And Gamer Garbage Score, like, honestly... 2 out of 10. This thing is not garbage at all. I mean, it's pretty beat up, but works. Awesome console. Nice. All right, guys, we have a package from Goodwill. It's pretty beat up, despite the fragile stickers, but let's open it up, see what's inside. Ooh, ooh, we got a game. All right, we got a PS3 game. So I'm assuming we might have a PS3 in here. Yes, we do. We have a, uh, wait, is that a, that looks like a PS2 controller, actually. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> what's going on here? Uh, okay, no, it's not a PS2 controller. It's a, a DualShock 3. It just had cords wrapped in it. So it uh, looks OEM. And it looks to be in, oh, it's a nice condition, except for the fact that the joysticks are really sticky. Ugh. Great. But we also have a power cord, a USB cable. I'm assuming this is a PS3 Slim. Let's check. And yes, indeed, it is a PS3 Slim. And honestly, it doesn't look terrible for being from Goodwill. I mean, it's pretty dusty up here. And uh, this piece is kind of jutting out on the side, which it probably shouldn't be. Flipping to the bottom, the warranty seal is still intact. We're only missing two rubber feet, but uh, yeah, I guess let's just plug it in, see if it works. All right, got it plugged in, three, two, one. You got life, any free games? Nope. <laughs> All right, booted up here, and I guess it was factory reset, so this is one of those consoles where Goodwill apparently decides to factory reset the console and actually test it, uh, but let's we'll see if it fully works. So booted up here, and I am, of course, interested in what system software we're on, so we're, oh, 4.6, oh, wow. That's actually kind of old. We got 160 gigs. Let me actually check when 4.6 is from. Yes, yeah, so 4.60 is from 2014, 10 years old at this point. Uh, they actually did just release a, a new PS3 update, which is funny here in 2024. But let's go ahead and put a disc in. Luckily, we have Madden 13 here. I don't know why, but I've seen Madden 13 PS3 game a, a, a million times. But let's uh, put it in. Looks pretty good. See if it works. Sweet, so the game's loaded up, working, no problems at all. I mean, the console's pushing out heat. Super quiet. I mean, as a PS3 slim, these things are kind of tanks. And I'm looking at the price that, that Danny paid. It looks like he paid... 99, 99 bucks after shipping and tax and everything, which is uh, not a bad price if this thing was fully cleaned up and everything, but not that great for the condition. So garbage score, like fully working everything, I'll give it a four. Uh, it's pretty beat up, but it works. So hey, can't complain too much. So guys, thanks for watching Gamer Garbage. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see in the next one, and I'll see you guys next time.